Hi, this is Nikki Black. I'm here at ABA Tech Show 2017 with Bob Ambrosi, Sam Glover, with Charlie Moore. I'm here with Catherine Sanders-Reach. I'm here with Mark Britton, with Adam from Legal Talk Network, Carolyn Elephant. I'm here with Kevin O'Keefe from Lexblog, and we're going to talk a little bit about the conference. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, when it comes to legal technology, what are you thinking the most about these days? I guess I'm a big fan of client portals, always have been, but I feel like the consumer now is so empowered to do everything on their own that the more power an attorney can give a client to self-help, to fill out forms, to pay online, to go into a client portal and see all the communication, to upload and download documents, all those kinds of things. I think we're seeing where attorneys are starting to get that more and more. Well, you know, as I said, it, it, it makes a lot of sense to talk to a, a consultant about technology, but I mean, the, the first thing is always to make a list of kind of what you need, what you want. Again, so let's start with the practice management because they're so easy to talk about. You need to kind of go through and evaluate, make that wish list, and then start to go out and look at which systems fit with that list and try and figure out the pricing because the pricing can be all over the board. I mean, we've, we've talked about this before uh, on the on the e-payment issue. Uh, some practice management platforms out there, if you want to be able to accept electronic payments, you basically have to get a third-party vendor and pay a whole separate fee. My case, one of the nice things about my case is that's part of what you're paying for. You're not paying extra to be able to have that capability. So you have to kind of sort that all out and figure that all out. Yeah, uh, mobile uh, I think is first and foremost. Uh, if you really pay attention to what the customers want and what customers need, and I think mobile is still the most important technology uh, for solo small firms that are working with uh, small business customers, etc., who are using you know tools like my case. What emerging tech is going to be the most impactful for lawyers in the next? three to five years. Is it AI? I, I think it has to be AI. Um, and, and again, not AI in the terms of like robots and artificial lawyers, but AI in terms of being able to plug a system into your law practice um, that can just take over a piece of it. Well, do you have advice for lawyers on um, the ways to sort of sort through all this information and get the information they need that's going to help them with their practices at a show like this? Yeah, if you don't understand it, don't buy it. I mean, because what happens is lawyers buy stuff they don't understand. So I, I really tell lawyers, if you don't really understand it, don't do it. And and then also ask yourself, you know, how lawyers in your city or that you really look at and say, they're the really good lawyers in my state or my city or in this niche area of law, how are they getting their work? Is it coming from you know, advertising or is it coming because they've established themselves as a lawyer's lawyer? Okay, and then for lawyers that are planning to incorporate new technology and tools into their practices, especially solo and small firms, do you have any advice to them both in terms of how to go about choosing the right products and also then how to start using these tools in their practice so that they can become more productive? So I know it can be overwhelming. There are so, so many choices. And I think that at some time, you know, there's a lot of different websites where you can read about evaluations. And so I think it's just a matter of reading up on them and just you, you almost have to randomly pick something and just see if it works for you. And then in terms of incorporating it into your practice, um, if you work with other lawyers, make sure that there's buy-in from them. So if you have a practice management system and an associate and an assistant, get them into the system because it forces all of you to use it together. I'd love to hear from you a little bit about how you think technology can be really impactful in terms of um, client representation and how it can improve the client experience um, in legal services. Wow. Well, there's there's just a ton of great technology out there, and I think it can be fairly overwhelming for a lot of lawyers, especially if you're a solo and small, and you don't have a, a kind of a COO or an operational type that's thinking about this 24-7. But ultimately, I think to get any of this technology here or technology that's available to lawyers to work for you, it's critical that you kind of step back and realize that these are technology solutions that are used as tools in order to drive your business objectives. And so one of the things that I feel that a lot of lawyers miss is that they first have to be a student of business principles. There's a lot of resources out there. One of them is Legal Talk Network and um, the podcast that you provide. And I know you're doing a bunch of them 
at uh, Tech Show this year. Can you tell me a little bit about the focus of some of those podcasts that might serve as resources for people looking to use new tech in their practices? Sure. So we are recording, I want to say close to 25 episodes here at ABA Tech Show, not only with Legal Talk Network, but uh, also with ABA Journal Legal Rebels. Just about all this content is about lawyers and technology and the business flaw. So we're for sure going to be covering you know, artificial intelligence, you know, machine learning, software, uh, and just so many of the other tech, tip, tech tips and business of law tools that are being discussed uh, in, the, in the sessions here at Tech Show. Okay, so for lawyers that want to try and figure out what new tech to use, that's a great resource to turn to. So, well, thanks so much, and I appreciate your time. This is Nikki Black at ABA Tech Show. Thanks for watching.